Hi there, I'm Vincent Boss and I provide dating and self-improvement advice. And in today's podcast, we're going to be discussing Does No Contact Work Twice? So before we get into the podcast, I just want to let you know about my website, dateme.tips. That's www.dateme.tips. Do you need help trying to save your crumbling relationship? Would you like advice on how to try and get your ex back? Or maybe you need an action plan on how to try and get a girlfriend or boyfriend. I provide email coaching on all of these subjects and can help your specific situation. Visit my website dateme.tips to find out more details. That's www.dateme.tips. You will also find on my site the books that I've written, my clothing range and other information. Please check your spam and junk folders if you are expecting an email from me. So now let's get back into today's podcast and today we are discussing does no contact work twice? So what I'm referencing here when I say no contact is the no contact rule. And this is something that lots of people suggest you implement if you've been dumped and want to try to get your ex back. There are many different versions of a no contact rule that you can find online. And I believe that my version gives you the best possible chance of trying to get your ex back. So I suggest that you subscribe to my podcasts so that you can familiarize yourself with my version of a no contact rule. So when we ask the question, does no contact work twice? We are actually asking a broad question, which includes two sub questions. And in today's podcast, I'm going to be answering both of those sub questions. So let's get straight into the first one. Can no contact still work if you break it? So my version of a no contact rule states that if you have been dumped and want to try to get your ex back, then you should never contact your ex again unless they contact you first. And the reason your ex, the dumper, would consider contacting you first is if they reach a certain level of interest, intrigue, and that develops into missing you and new romantic emotional attraction. Because when you've been dumped, when that moment happens, when the end of a relationship, the level of romantic emotional attraction that they feel towards you is very, very low. The gauge is very, very low at this point. However, depending on your relationship, the breakup and how you reacted at the time of a breakup will depend how low on the level you are and how low the gauge is. So depending on your unique situation will depend on how high you need to move that gauge to get to the correct level. Once you reach that level of intrigue, interest, missing you, romantic emotional attraction building again, when your ex gets to that level, they will reach out. But the problem is that everybody is different, every situation is unique, and there is no way, of course, of knowing where you are exactly on the level. You just need to do the right things, including the hints and tips that I give in my email coaching, as well as in my other podcast. They can help pull on the heartstrings of your ex. They can help really speed up the process of using my version of a no contact rule. So if you're now imagining that, if you're thinking, okay, I understand, I was dumped, the gauge went really low, I need to raise the gauge higher, it needs to go up and up and up, and then it needs to get to the point of where it finally hits the correct level and my ex will finally reach out to me. But what happens if I break no contact? What happens if I contact my ex before they have reached that level and before they've reached out? Well, unfortunately, if you reach out beforehand, if you break the no contact rule, then that gauge goes all the way back down. And the reason it does is because you have just destroyed the intrigue, you've destroyed the missing you, you've destroyed the mystery surrounding you. Because all of a sudden, your ex is reminded that you are still thinking of them, that you still need them in in your life. And for that reason, it soothes them, it soothes their own insecurities. And the level will be really low, the gauge will be very, very low again, and you have to start again. Now, okay, it might not be right back to the bottom, but it will be very low again. So in answer to this first sub question, can no contact still work if you break it? The answer is yes, but it's going to be longer. 
because you are moving it from a lower point again. So you would have taken it to a certain level, whether you reached out after two days, two weeks, two months, okay, whenever it was, however high the gauge had risen, that gauge is now back lower down and you've got to raise it again. So no contact can still work if you break it, but it will take longer. So at this point, I just want to mention my weekly wingman service. I can be your wingman for the week, providing you with bespoke motivational encouragement. This can be to help with your love life, as well as ingraining a self-improvement mindset. The course begins with an audio call for us to speak and then moves on to emails. For more details on this service and information on audio coaching, please click the link in the description. So now we're going to move into the second sub question, and that is, will no contact work a second time if you get your ex back, but are then dumped again in the future? So this is another common question that I'm asked. What happens if you implement my version of a no contact rule? What happens if you then get your ex back, but then you blow it and you are dumped again? Can you use the same technique to get them back again? Well, we need to look at this in a broader context. So firstly, we need to remember that we are all human beings. And that is a good thing because that means we all have human nature. And my version of a no contact rule works on human nature. It doesn't matter if you have used my version of a no contact rule before. It doesn't even matter if your ex knows this. It doesn't matter if your ex knows of my version of a no contact rule. It is irrelevant because it pulls on human nature. And that is the beauty. That is the magic. Because once you know that, you understand that, yes, it can work. Again, because it doesn't matter whether you've done it before. It doesn't matter if your ex even knows about it. It will work. But when I say work, I mean it will start to pull your ex higher up the levels. Okay, It will drag them closer to that point to that magic marker of when they will want to reach out to you. However, depending what happened during the second breakup will depend where the gauge is. So based on what we've just been speaking about previously, you will understand the whole gauge situation and the levels. Well, this second breakup not only is going to have its own unique points, but you need to bear in mind that this is the second time you've broken up. So the more times you break up, it's suggesting that there are problems that have not been fixed. And your ex might be thinking to themselves, well, I'm, I'm sick of this. You know, I dumped them once. They got me back. They sorted a few things. They've slipped into bad habits. Something else has happened. I've dumped them again. And they might be of a mindset, I'm not going back a third time. Now, even though my version of a no contact rule will start to pull them higher and higher and higher, because of this problem, because it's happened for the second time, you would likely be lower. Okay, you, your level will likely be even lower, the gauge even lower. So the difficulty and the challenge is even greater. The important thing to remember is to always push forward with your life. You should not be waiting for your ex because there is no 100% guaranteed way to get your ex back. There is no definitive way to get them to that line and to that point. Sometimes an ex's gauge will be so low that it will never get to the desired requirement and they will never reach out to you again. So the important thing is to concentrate on yourself, go through self-improvement, make sure you are pushed forward with your life and you will make new connections. And it is often during this period that out of the blue, when you least expect it, you will hear from your ex and then you will have a decision to make between your new connections and your ex. And that is the wonderful thing. Because if you do everything right, then you stand a great chance of getting your ex back. But even if you don't, then you will make new connections who will likely tick more boxes than your ex ever did. Because you will be promoting yourself in a better way. You will be a version 2.0 of yourself and you will attract a higher caliber person. So if you feel that this podcast has helped you, then please consider buying me a coffee. The link to do so is in the description.
Yeah, if you miss your ex, we can help with that. Help you get him back, or we can help find you someone else. Yeah, yeah, Vincent Bo, the relationship coach, uh, giving you some insight, bringing you a new approach. Date me dot tips, go and check the site. Uh, giving you advice, helping with your love life. Get your ex back, or move to the next. Ain't no sweat, you know Vincent Bo got you finding love. Ain't no problem. Yeah, date me dot tips. Check it out now.